What's up everybody, welcome back to the Bolty Game, and today I'm going to just give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to get the KO Cannon transformation in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now this transformation can be used by any race, so it's really nice to have in your arsenal, so let's just get right into it. So Kaioken is basically the first transformation you can get in all of Xenoverse 2, it's from Parallel Quest number 8. So I guess the developers wanted to have something early. Now I'll go a little bit more in depth with Kaioken in another video. I'll do this little side by side with potential unleash transformation versus Kaioken and show which one's better in my opinion. But for now, this will just show you guys how to get Kaioken. So I already have Kaioken. I actually got it on my third or fourth try. It's a bit of an RNG thing. The mission's not difficult at all. It only takes you a couple minutes. I could flawless it if I wanted it to. But the potential, like, Kaioken, like right now, it's it's okay. There's three different forms to it. Once again, I'll get more in depth with this in a different video. But the Super Soul I'm using called Don't Let My Body Down, if you want to get that Super Soul, you can buy it from the store for I think 18,000 zenny. It powers up your basic attacks by a lot when you're in the KO Can transformation, but it also drains your health pretty fast. So, it's a gamble technique. KO Can's always been a gamble technique, I think they took that a little bit away in this game especially. But you'll see further down the line in another video that it's still a bit of a gamble, still runs your stamina out pretty fast, but... Comparing that to potential unleashed, maybe, maybe there's a little bit of a difference to it. But what, this is this is just how to get KO Ken in the first place. If you want to know how to get it, this is Parallel Quest number eight once again. And as you can see, this is not difficult at all. All this stuff is like really low level. I'm level 80, so you can blow through this no problem. You do have to Z rank the mission. It's not that hard to Z rank the mission. I don't know what you don't have to do to Z rank it. Like I guess you have to keep Nappa alive when he comes in the fight. But either way. This mission is not difficult at all. It should not take you more than a couple minutes. And the transformation is really fun to use. It's like, if you use that Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan wig, Super Saiyan Blue wig, and use KO Ken, you're pretty much like a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan KO Ken, Goku, or whatever. Even though in the new DLC that is coming out, he is going to be a Awoken form for Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And also, Hit will be a mentor. That's going to be fun. Definitely going to put content up of that. But that's releasing, I think, December 20th? I think that was it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, this just video, once again, as I said several times, how to get the Kaioken, Kaioken transformation, which is actually making it come back in Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Goku used it against Zamasu in the final battle of the Arg. Goku used it against Hit, brought it back. Goku actually did use it against Pycon. He was the first Super Saiyan Kaioken against Pycon in the Underworld tournament, whatever that was, which a lot of people forget. They don't really mention it that much, but anyway... It's, it's pretty fun to use. Um, I still think it's not one of the better transformations. If you have a way of keeping stamina very fast, like if you have abilities like evasive skills, I think Angry Shout gives you more stamina. If you could do that and hold up a Kaioken times 20, then more power to you. Because Kaioken times 20 is kind of the only thing that's on par with Potential Unleashed. So it's like a give or take, whichever one you want to use, really. Because Potential Unleashed, once again, it could be used by any race too. But Kaioken, it's also really fun to use because it just gives you that good old classic Goku feel, in my opinion. And I like the I like the abilities that you have. Like not like you don't have these as your Kaioken. Like the abilities that go along with being Kaioken, if you want to, like Kaioken Assault times twenty, Kaioken Tech Combat, all that good stuff. But anyway, you just gotta Z rank this mission a couple times. RNG. Good luck, guys. See you guys in the next video.